You could say the Sonoran Desert Corral of Mesa has seen pretty much everything. Together for 20 years, the group has performed in countless concerts and toured Europe four times. But as Bruce Cooper shows, their latest trip abroad will have a very special meaning to members of the group and the state of Arizona. Based in the First United Methodist Church in Mesa, the Sonoran Desert Corral has performed in special events around the valley and around the world. And this coming June, we'll present the corral with a unique opportunity to represent Arizona at services in France on the 70th anniversary of D-Day. We had the opportunity to sing in the San Miraglis Church, and also the French government has invited us on the following day, on D-Day, the 6th, we're performing in the Bayeux Cathedral, which is a national monument in France. The concert will carry a message of remembrance, hope, and peace. Seventy years ago, paratroopers dropped behind the Nazi lines, weakening German defenses and allowing Allied forces to storm the beaches. One of those paratroopers was Harry Clausen. His granddaughter, a member of the corral, remembers the achievements he made that day. There was a bridge that was a key bridge for the maneuvers that they were doing that he was able to help secure. And for that action, um, he received a silver star right there in France. Four months later, Staff Sergeant Clausen would jump into Holland. It was there that Wendy Stapley's grandfather went missing in action. Her family would spend decades never knowing exactly what happened to him. And then in 1971, a Dutch farmer found his remains and another soldier's remains on his farm. And I do remember as a child going to that memorial service for my grandfather. In the very towns their fathers and grandfathers liberated, the Sonoran Desert Corral will pay homage in a way they know best through stirring lyrics and eloquent music. Wow, they, they sound good, don't they? The Sonoran Desert Corral will hold a requiem for the Fallen concert this weekend at First United Methodist Church in Mesa. Tickets are still on sale, and some of the seats have been set aside for veterans. If you'd like some more information on the concert, I've posted a link on our EVB Live Facebook page. They sound wonderful.